Hi guys, um, I'm just going to show you a little video of applying a classic lash extension to one eyelash. Um, we want to make sure that we're getting our isolation correct and we also want to make sure that we are popping that lash in the exact place that we want it to be in. So the lashes that I'm using are Lash Heaven. They're 0 0.15. I've got a 10 millimeter CC curl and some 11 millimeters D curl. Um, I absolutely love Lash Heaven lashes. They're the lashes that I tend to use for classic and volume. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go into these lashes here and I'm gonna find a really nice lash. There we go. So we're gonna isolate that relax your hand and open those tweezers and you're going to hold that lash in place you're then going to use your other hand to pick up the extension place it into the adhesive i've used a black adhesive for the purpose of this video but i do normally use lash heaven um, in clear fierce whereas this is lash heaven in black so a tiny amount of glue and then you're just going to place that lash onto the natural lash. This adhesive has got a one to two second drying time. So it's very quick. So you can let go literally after a couple of seconds. And as you can see, I've hardly used any adhesive at all. So I'm gonna go in again and put another one on for you. There's a couple of nice lashes here. So I'm gonna go in with a nine millimeter in a C curl, 0.15 here. And we're just gonna place that on the lash. Can you see how close I'm getting it to the lash line? You want it as close as you possibly can get it to the lash line without touching the lid, because obviously that would cause discomfort to your client. So let's pop an 11 decal 0.15 lash heaven again tiny bit of adhesive and really close to that lash line and that's how quickly it sets i'm going to do say three or four on that eye and then obviously i'm going to go back and work on the other eye but for the purpose of this video i want you to be able to see what i'm doing so i'm just going to lash on this eye so we've got some tiny little lashes here Someone needs infills. <laughs> Obviously some lashes are much harder to get to than others. This is a 9mm again in 0.15 C curl, this one. And as you can see, that is how quick it goes on. It is so important that you get that isolation correct and that you don't get any stickies. The only reason you're going to be getting stickies is if the adhesive that you're using is setting too slowly for you or you're using too much. When you put your lash into the adhesive, you're literally going to be dipping a really, really small part of that lash into it so that you hardly get any adhesive. I'm going to show you if I can. I'll take it out of focus. That is literally how much. Now that is drying now. As soon as you pick up that lash, it is curing. If you're fanning around now, it's going to not give you as good retention as what you would want so if you've lost that isolation by the time you get that on here although it might actually stick that lash might come out in a couple of days so it's really important if you're using a fast setting adhesive when you've dipped your lash into that adhesive to get it straight onto the natural lash as quick as you possibly can hope that helps <laughs> 